For this recipe, I'm gonna be making a taco casserole, and the first thing that I'm gonna start with is one cup of chopped onion, finely diced. And I'm gonna saute this in a tablespoon of olive oil with a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna saute this until the onions are translucent and slightly brown. While the onions are sauteing, I'm gonna take six ounces of sour cream and four ounces of softened cream cheese, both low fat. Now that my onions have browned up, I'm gonna do a teaspoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of ground cumin. And I like to kind of bloom the spices, heat them up, release the flavor with the onions. And then I'm gonna be adding a pound of ground chicken. You could use dark meat, you could use beef, you could use ground turkey. Something I like to do to make sure that all of the particles of the meat really get very small and fine, I like to add a quarter cup of water before it starts browning. And I find that this breaks everything up into smaller pieces. And it has a much smoother texture instead of those big chunks of meat that brown up and kind of get a little tough. And you gotta work quickly because the water is gonna evaporate. Now that it's all in fine pieces, I'm gonna raise my heat and focus on a little bit of browning. I'm gonna sprinkle over a tablespoon of flour. It's very important that all the moisture is gone because if it's not, the flour will cause lumps. But we're gonna coat everything in this flour. And then I have a quarter cup of chicken broth. The chicken broth mixed with the flour and a little bit of fat that's in here is going to mix together and form a very kind of thick gravy on the meat. And I'm just going to give this a taste. Add another half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. I'm going to use the spoon to get this all in one layer. I'm going to do a thin layer of salsa. And now on top we're going to dollop the cream. And you can lightly spread this out, but this is really going to melt a lot underneath the heat. So you don't have to go crazy trying to get it perfect. Now I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And the last final topping is going to be one cup of low-fat Mexican blend cheese. And this is usually a blend of cheddar, Monterey Jack, and sometimes one other cheese. And I'm going to bake this at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm just about to take the casserole out of the oven and I just prepared some toppings here. I have a quarter cup of slivered grape tomatoes, but you could use any type of tomatoes. One avocado chopped up, a cup of shredded lettuce. I also have about a tablespoon of cilantro and one scallion sliced. And then I have my tortilla chips. I love doing it in the cast iron pan. It's so pretty, but uh, you know, the handle gets hot, so you have to always kind of keep this here so you don't accidentally touch that. And the first thing that I'm going to put on is the lettuce. And it definitely wilts a little bit because the whole thing is hot, but I kind of like that. I'm going to sprinkle on the tomatoes. If you don't think you're going to eat the whole thing in one night, I wouldn't put the avocado on the whole thing. I would just put it on half. So I don't know if we're going to eat this whole thing, so I'm going to only put it on half because it'll turn brown. I'm just ripping up the cilantro. Last, the scallions. You could scoop this out onto a plate and serve it with chips on the side. You could kind of decoratively put the chips almost like nachos on one side, or you could break it up and put a few on top. And there you go, it's a really fun filling twist on tacos.